it's Marley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for August 2024. So on August 4th, we have the second major astro event taking place, which happens to be Venus moving into Virgo energy. The first, of course, is that new moon in Leo that will be taking place 7.13 a.m. on the 4th. Venus moving into Virgo energy, popping off at 10.23 p.m., of course, Eastern Standard Time. I am going to recommend that you take a listen to the new moon in Leo forecast if you haven't already. Uh, I do go on a little bit of a description rant of why Venus's placement at 29 degrees in Leo energy, that critical karmic degree, is so important for the new moon in Leo and how interesting it is that we sit at that particular karmic degree until the new moon actually passes. Again, that potency of energy is really helping us to make a serious pivot where our heart space, our passions, our desires, our needs are concerned. So let's talk about Venus for a second. Venus is the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money. She has been in Leo energy, the heart and soul of the Zodiac, really getting in touch with this new version of self. With that new version of self comes new wants, needs, and desires. We are building towards a major change, major transformation, pivoting from letting a lot of hopes and wishes and dreams and people and places and things go that was attached to the old version of self. Now we have new focuses, new paths, new choices, new decisions, new desires, and in Virgo energy, Now we're going to get down to the nitty gritty of how we're going to bring it to life. So let's talk about the Virgo energy for just a second. Virgo energy is a mutable earth sign. Mutability means that we are being faced with choices, with decisions, with information, facts, evidence, proof, details that require us to make a change, a change in a path, change in direction, change in our pursuit of happiness. That mutability needs us to be flexible, needs us to change, needs us to adapt to the situation and circumstances that now we're being presented with. The Virgo energy is an earth sign, but it's ruled over by Mercury. Well, I hate to tell you, but Mercury, he's about to go retrograde. He's already semi-retrograde, even though he doesn't officially go retrograde until the 5th. We do have this reflection back this analyzing, this dissecting going on in our mental plane. So we have this mercurial influence. What we're focused on is what we manifest in the Virgo energy. The Virgo energy is the fixer, the healer, the resolver, the problem solver of the Zodiac. But we have to identify the problems in order to actually fix them. So the first part of any Virgo transit is usually focused on what is wrong, what isn't working, what we have to eliminate, what we have to do better, all the problematic areas. Halfway through the Virgo transit, we start focusing on coming up with solutions. And towards the end of the Virgo transit, we will start implementing those particular solutions and rearranging, restructuring what needs to be done. So Venus in this Virgo energy, first of all, when it comes to the way that we love, when it comes to our affections, when it comes to how we show love to the world, to the people around us, we're going to take more of a practical approach. Again, the Virgo energy, we want to be useful. We want to serve a purpose. So if we're talking about love languages, acts of service would definitely be the Virgo jam. We want to take care of ourselves, though. We just had this emergence of this new version of self. We just had this realization of who and what needs to stay needs to go. The Virgo energy is going to help further analyze who and what needs to stay, what needs to go through the lens of what makes us happy what makes us feel safe, what makes us feel secure. So at this particular juncture, Venus and Virgo, we need to be in a situation, especially romantic situations, relationship aspects that make sense, that serve a purpose, okay? And I know that's going to be very, very disturbing for us to sit in because take a good look around. 
many of us still pouring into old attachments, old connections, old relationship dynamics that are basically sucking the life force energy out of us. Now, there are going to be a lot of endings that take place, especially where friendships and romantic relationships are concerned, because if we have no use for them, if they're not serving any purpose, if they're not making us feel happy or bring us a sense of pleasure or joy or making us feel safe and secure, then what are we doing? Okay. Okay. So as we're building within this new version of self, building the relationship within our new version of self, our values, our priorities, what is important to us is changing. That is going to have a dramatic impact on the energy exchange that we have with the people with the world around us. Although, you know, there is a lot of sensuality that comes with Venus and typically speaking with Virgo, although the Virgo energy could semi be kind of perceived as a prude. Again, reminder, the virgin, the maiden, is what represents Virgo energy. There is a purification process needed in order for us to, again, detach from the people that are not building us up. We have to detach from the routines that are not helping us to be our healthiest, best selves. We have to detach from you know, financial habits and spending that are putting us in bad situations. Venus is all about love and money, worth and values. And in Virgo energy, if it don't make sense, if it isn't helping, if it isn't bettering, if it isn't improving, then we're not doing it anymore. And so, you know, where this Virgo energy is ruled over by Mercury, well, there's a lot of thought that needs to go into this. Now, considering the fact that Mercury, again, isn't exactly retrograde, but close enough to be retrograde, we're looking back. We're not really looking ahead. There is this, let's call it dangling of the carrot of where it is that we would like to be, especially in a visionary sense, but there's some things blocking us. We can't take it all with us. We can't take everyone with us. There's no point in that, especially if they're dead weight and they're not serving a purpose. I know that sounds cold, but sometimes we have to move into this, let's call it rigid business-like approach to love and affections and where we're pouring our time, our energy, our attention in order to actually whittle away and release the dead weight so that we are opened up with a lighter load to actually pursue things that make more sense, that serve more of a purpose and actually support and encourage us to be our best selves. There is definitely a lot of criticism a lot of, let's call it judgmental thoughts and feelings that pop up in Virgo energy. That's the whole point of discernment. You have to judge the shit out of yourself and the world in which you create it in order to figure out what is working and what isn't. And once you know, then you can do. But to know better and then not do better, that's on you. That's where shadow work is needed because you're self-sabotaging. Either way, we're definitely going to be in a more grounded approach. It is an earth energy. So there is this anchoring. There is this connection to our physical bodies, which Venus is all about, uh, to our physical realms, to our circumstances, to our environments. But we could get sucked into focusing too much on the problem. We could get sucked into kind of dismissing a lot of emotion because we're not emotional in Virgo energy. We're logical, practical, rational beings. There is a, let's call it calculated affection that takes place in Virgo energy. We're not overly foo-foo or overly affectionate. What's also interesting is that we tend to carry a lot of guilt around in Virgo energy, especially when it comes to pouring into ourselves, which is a little bit of a weird situation to find ourselves in because you have to pour into yourself. You have to make yourself feel good in order to give the best of you to the people, to the world around you, which so many of us want to do. You have to be operating from a full cup. But the minute that we start taking care of ourselves and we par start putting ourselves at the top of the list, suddenly... Now we feel bad. Now we feel guilty. Now we feel that pouring into ourselves means that we don't have the energy to pour into other people. And that's just an oxymoronic thing to say, because again, you cannot operate from a half ass empty cup. And so where the Virgo energy constantly wants to be of work and service to other people, 
yes, there is that element there where we're giving too much of ourselves to other people, but this is a different time in the calendar. Again, this new version of self requires a lot more time, energy, and attention for us to feel confident and familiar and grounded and anchored in this new version of self, which means that we have some healing to do, which means that we can't pour into people as much as we used to. We have to pour into ourselves first and not feel guilty about it. So again, this is going to be a little bit of a analyzation period, a little bit of a reevaluation period, if you will. Um, it can bring in a lot of nervous energy because again, you know, Mercury is ruling over this Virgo energy or central nervous systems, definitely going to take a hit. And because we're kind of afraid of doing the wrong thing here, that brings its own nervousness as well. We are, again, very focused on the problematic areas. We don't want to be so focused on them that we forget about all the good in our lives, especially when it comes to the people that we share time, energy, and space with, because the natural disposition is to be highly judgmental and critical of ourselves and the people in the world around us. And so this is a great time for us to kind of tap into new healing modalities, a new health routine, new diets. We have to examine where it is that we have some bad habits when it comes to taking care of ourselves, when it comes to taking care of other people. It's time to kind of flip the script in order for us to improve on ourselves, especially in the way that we are treating ourselves. Again, although Venus is very kind of focused on, you know, relationship dynamics, all the relationship dynamics that you have outside of you stems from the relationship dynamic that you have with yourself. So this is a very important time to kind of double down, pour into you, do what is good for you, make yourself the happiest, healthiest version of self so that the people that you love can get your best self too. We are definitely going to have an interesting dynamic with Venus in this Virgo energy with some of the other aspects popping off in the cosmos at this time. It is going to be a very good reality check to see where it is that we need to flip the switch, kind of spice things up in a different way, see ourselves and the way we've been moving in our physical realm from a different perspective and really focus on where we can be better, where we can do better, and where we can bring our best self to the world around us.